sometimes. <laughs> but you used baits? Well, you know, I've hunted deer for a long time. As a matter of fact, I've got, oh gosh, 12 or 15 that score above minimums for Pope and Young, and one of them scores enough for Boone and Crockett. Now, I didn't put them in, but I, you can come to my house and look at them yeah. if you want. <laughs> Um, as a matter of fact, they're guy. on my Facebook page. Oh, you yeah. Can scroll through and look. I've the guy we just we, we followed up in the, 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 the Louisiana video. I call it the JB video. Um, he had just shot. He's actually on the cover of Sportsman's, Sports and Field or something magazine right now. for a. He had the 16 largest. What's the rating? It's like the span of the. the widest spread. Yeah, yeah the spread. like the 16th largest ever shot. He just did it. Just on the Louisiana side of the Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But a lot of old timers that I've talked to and, and I've read in magazines and stuff use curiosity type scents to draw them in. Not just like dough in heat or throw some bucking okay. rut in a scrape or something. But I've heard people talk about vanilla's the old standby and cover up company marketed that as a as a scent for a while. But I I know of people who have put out antifreeze as a deer attractor. Mm -hmm. Just because they, they walk by downwind and they smell something they've never smelled mm -hmm. and so they come in to see what in the heck it is mm -hmm. that's the same deal with the with the wood smoke mm -hmm. you know it not only masks your scent but deer and other forest animals smell that and they want to know what's burning mm -hmm. so they kind of come in to investigate and that's that's a proven fact indians have done that for millennia you know at least woodland indians you know um anything like that so if you're putting something weird in the woods mm -hmm. that will travel with the wind there's no telling what you can attract right there's something different not the same old thing you know um anybody can put some meat or food out or something like that but you you're gonna attract anything a coyote or right. something else like that you know probably not gonna get too many coyotes up with a banana yeah <laughs> you know right, but, right. You know, Do you guys use thermal at all? When we have access to it. We have we access have to it. Yeah. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while and have not done it. But there's some, you know, a lot of people say that perhaps Sasquatch can see infrared, infrared yeah. which that would be unique in the animal kingdom because nothing else can see it. Mm -hmm. There are some things that can detect it yeah. but not see it. For example, pit vipers can detect it. But they don't see it at all. They just detect it in the mm -hmm. pits of their... Okay. You know, no animal can see infrared that we know of. But perhaps there's some way that they can detect it. Mm -hmm. um, a good experiment to do... You, okay, let, me, let me get back to the, my reasoning for this. Some, I talked to some guy on some form. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was the BFF who said that he had written into some of the game cam manufacturers who have the no flash game cams, mm -hmm. but they have the infrared bulbs. But he had noticed, and this is something that I noticed on some of mine, that when they go off, if you walk in front of them, I can kind of see a little faint red glow mm -hmm. on them. Well, that's not infrared because I can't see infrared, right? Mm -hmm. People can't. And so he wrote them and asked them about that, and they admitted that they they had something besides just infrared. They had some, you know, visible light coming out as well. Well, what you can do is set up a game cam and then turn on the thermal from the side and have somebody walk in front of it and see what comes out and if it is something that a Sasquatch or a deer or anything else can see that comes out of that thing. If it is, you know that the, the game, you know why they're avoiding game cams. Very simply. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You think they can smell it or hear it? I know they can smell it. I know that they can for a fact. Um, anything. Every animal in the woods has a much greater sense of smell than we do. Right. And most people they got these things, they put them in their house or in the garage or in the vehicle. You know, you go through McDonald's, get something to drink and a burger, whatever. I mean, all this stuff is getting on the game cam. Mm -hmm. You got, you just ate something, then you open it up and you pull the card out and stick another one in. You know, all this is on there. That's why you, it's, it's hard to even get pictures of a mature buck 
on one unless you're just in an area that's overrun with them you know do you have better luck if you decent your camera do you put that, that absolutely stuff or? well not i decent them and then i keep them outside strapped to a tree in my yard or something or inside some kind of airtight bag and i wash my hands and scentless stuff before i touch them and before i take cards out or put them in obviously don't wash the cards because it would destroy them right. you know um, anything, anything at all that I can do to keep the whole setup scent free. That, and that's something that I feel like a lot of researchers just don't think about. Mm -hmm. They just let that slip. You know, I, I hide it really good and everything else, but every animal in the woods can smell it. So right. they know it's there. They associate it with humans. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've talked to other people who's, who, and, and an optometrist in fact, who says that Sasquatch cannot possibly be nocturnal because there are no nocturnal great apes, Inclu you know, and they included people mm -hmm. in that. And that's absolutely not true. It's been discovered that there are chimps in Western Central Africa that hunt at night. So there's four different kinds of primates that are not primates. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about great apes. Oh, great, apes. great apes. There are some yeah. primitive primitive primates that exist that are not that are not terminal, nocturnal. But as far as great apes go, there there's a, a species of chimp well, was I'm not sure that it's genetically different. Mm -hmm. They haven't done tests to determine how different it is genetically than regular chimps, but it's a western central African chimp. I've got a paper on it um, that I read and I saved it. And they fashion spears to hunt with. They hunt at night, so obviously they can see. They're nocturnal and they can see in the dark. And they swim, which there's no evidence of any grade eight swimming. Because, and they say that they can't do it because they don't have the body fat that we have, so they can't be buoyant. Well, you know. They can, I, I haven't seen any Olympic swimmers that carry a lot of body fat, mm -hmm. you know. Right. But they're, they're going against everything that the anthropologists say about great apes. Hmm. These and this is, this is a recent paper. It was published in either late 2012 or early 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's recent articles talking about the number of undiscovered species that, are, that remain. There's millions. I mean, they, they just said there was something like 14 million species on Earth, and right. only a fraction has really been Yeah, and how do you miss a, uh, a chimpanzee in West Central Africa that yeah. can do all this stuff? How do you miss that? Because it's nocturnal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's and hiding in caves aren't. and stuff during yeah, the day. Humans aren't, exactly. But the natives knew they were there. They told them yeah. about them. And they're like, no, no, chimps can't. Chimps aren't nocturnal. You guys are just, you know. Right. And just in this past decade, they found the first ever chimp fossils. Ever. Mm. Fossils. Yeah. yeah. Never had any fossils that they ever existed. Mm -hmm. No no proof that they ever existed before now. Which right. we knew that they did, obviously. Right. But there were no fossils. Yeah. And it's they just, just you know, found the them in the past decade. With walking through the woods and never finding a bear body or a... You know, frankly, you don't really walk through the woods and find deers, you know, just laying dead in no, the woods. You, don't. I mean, you very, you very seldom find a dead animal in the woods. You find them on the side of the road, right? But not often in the woods. So this, you know, again, just because you don't stumble across a Sasquatch body when you're out in the woods doesn't mean that they don't exist. That's not a valid argument. Um, hmm. One of the things we want to try to do is generate reports to us rather than just kind of hitting a place in the woods. Yeah. Um, any yeah. suggestions on how you can actually, you know, if somebody sees something, it's pure chance, definitely, but, um, you know, exposure through, uh, you know, our brand. A place to start that wouldn't intimidate with our phone people, number maybe, on. that they right. might, that we might seem approachable. Well, and I tried it this week. I don't know if it'll work or not. But I got the idea from somebody else. Craigslist. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's free. Too. And, and you'll get some people that just make something up, stick it on there. But you'll yeah. you, you you can tell for yeah. the most part. Oh, yeah. You know, you pick what you pick what you uh, reply to. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that is a real good idea. And just, you know, every, you know, every state has several, you know, lots of different cities and communities. Just put one in every one, you know, and tailor it to the, mm -hmm. you know. That's a good idea. You tried that? Yeah, this week I put, I put one in the Hattiesburg area and one in the Gulfport area. Okay. Um, Did you get any responses? Not yet. Yeah. I haven't checked it today. But okay. How did you word it? What did you put? Uh, I just put, have you seen Bigfoot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, I can't remember what I put in the body of it, but it's, well, I don't know if you guys have internet access up here. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah, we have a, a hotspot. Okay. You can pull it up. I mean, it'll be, I'll put it on either Monday or Tuesday. Okay. And uh, for the one here, in, for the one in the Hattiesburg area, uh, I put that I was specifically interested in the Jones County mm -hmm. area and the National Forest here, but we're interested in any, you know, mm -hmm. don't hold back, you know, basically, if you got yeah. anything. But I was hoping to maybe get some something in before you guys came or you know, while you're here, mm -hmm. you know, getting something in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good.